the monster called desserts. I love desserts. I love dark chocolate. How many people love dark chocolate? How many people just love sweet things? Woo! Yeah. You know, here's what I discovered. It, it starts sweets. It starts when you're very young because what happens is parents use that as a method of reward. So what they say is like, hey, you eat all your dinner, you get a dessert. So then it, it becomes, it's not about eating all your dinner, it's about, I've gotta get that dessert. So then you start associating, every time I finish dinner, I get a dessert. So then that goes on and on, that's what happened to me. And then one day I woke up and I go, wait a minute, I'm full. I ate all my food, I'm full, I don't need dessert. And so then I was like, oh man, if I ever wanna look like Captain America, <laughs> I gotta stop the desserts. So, I went on this quest and I was like, okay, I'm gonna, because I used to do, like, I was like a frequent flyer of desserts. And so I was like, I gotta cut back. So, um, I said, okay, I'm gonna go every, I'm gonna go every four days I'll have one. So I was like, okay, I did that. That was hard to do. That's hard to do. And I was like, okay, every seven days I'll do it. And then I was like, every ten days, and then every two weeks. And then, so now I just, I was bad last week because, here's the deal, I'll explain. I was at SoccerCon in Seattle. When you're at that con, it's hard because you, for, first of all, they, it, they, they give you like a genie. So basically they give you, they give you someone that's on staff there and, and that person, basically, they're your genie. So if I'm like, hey, can we go to Ruth's Chris to eat? They're like, yeah. I'm like, can I, can we go to there to eat? Yeah, can we eat there? Can we eat at the place that has the best desserts ever? Yeah, we can do that. They, they never say no to you. So then desserts in my brain, the dessert worm is like, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. So I did, I really tore up a, a dark chocolate. I can remember the taste of it. Because what happens is, it's kind of like when a cat sees catnip. It's like their pupils dilate. And I'm like, <laughs> like, that's what happened to me when I saw this dessert. And typically, I, I'm pretty good about like, I'll do one bite and I'm good, I'm great. I just want to, because really you just want to taste it. You don't really want to eat a 10 pound chocolate cake. You just want to taste it. Oh, you do, you want to eat? Okay. See you in heaven. Oh, okay. All right. So, but I, I dominated that thing and uh, it now calls me master. But, uh, <laughs> so I was bad, but other than that, I've been really good. Um, I apologize, I was a couple minutes late because what happened was I thought we were rocking 30 minutes later than this. And so like right when I got the alert from the bat phone saying like, hey, it's panel time, the guy was like, here's your food set. Like right when he said it. So I was like, activate, you know, carpet mode. <laughs> All of it in there. And my tummy hurt, I had to go replace my tummy. And <laughs> new one in the dinner. And so, uh, but I made it. And so, how many people, this is their first con ever? Anybody? First convention? Oh, okay, yeah, no, that's right, that's right, it's your first. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Yeah. Uh, okay, so first con ever. How many people have been to, this is, no, you've been to cons a lot. Tons of cons. Okay, then some people are like, this is like one to five cons for you. Okay, okay. So, you know, you're, you guys are on the ground level of helping build this convention, like a first year con, and you're gonna help it grow. Um, the, oh, I was about to tell you something, then I was like, no, I probably shouldn't say that. Uh, it's not about this con, it, this reminded me of a, of a con that I went to where, whereas in the case where this one is successful, I mean, because everybody's here and they're smiling, and this other one that I went to years ago, People were not smiling. And I was about to tell you about that con, but I, I, I don't think it would be fair because I, because there quite possibly could be people that were involved in that event that are possibly here. And I don't, maybe not in this room, not in this room, but in this building. And I, and I don't, it's, 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 I don't want to relive it. Why get our hopes up? Oh, it's a great story. It is an epic story. 
Do you have any idea what I'm talking about, Matt? A little bit, but I'll make sure the word doesn't get out. Okay. <laughs> but do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, possibly the story I think it is. Okay. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> because it's an epic tale. It's like, you know sometimes you have those things that happen to you in life where you're like, you almost are so distracted because you're like, there's no way this is really happening right now. You could not make this story up and it's totally happening in front of you. Has anyone experienced things like that? Yeah. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> I did, and now I've got four kids. <laughs> but, um, now, for you guys, d did it involve anything illegal? Yeah. Hope not. A little bit. A little bit? <laughs> uh -oh. oh my gosh. Manslaughter? <laughs> manslaughter, even though, you know, there's no attempt. There's no accidental manslaughter. I mean, it, trust me. Um, so, for me, moments that, that happen where you're like, man, you cannot believe that this is happening. I'm trying to think, recently. Oh, when I was in Australia, I was in Australia and I was petting and playing with elephants. That was like a surreal moment because what happens is we, we so I'm hanging out, I'm in Australia with, uh, you know, Benedict Cumberbatch and we're, we're there with uh, uh, Nana Visitor from Deep Space Nine and we've got Connor from, you know, uh, Enterprise and you've got all the Charmed cast and you've got Rob Paulson who's, you know, Donatello. From Ninja Turtles, he was the original Raphael. He was, you know, Pinky from Beneath the Brain. He's Yakko from Animaniacs. We're all hanging out. It's tired because it's, you know, Australia is 17 hours ahead from LA. So like, it's it's very tiring because when when I'm sleeping, LA is awake and they're calling me and they're like, I have I run a studio and they're like trying like I record shows at my studio and stuff like that, like Dragon Ball Z or things like that. And so they've got problems, and so they're calling me, they're like, hey, what's going on? I'm like, quiet your voice. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. What is your problem? And there it's like 1 p.m. And so they're like, hey, what's going on? You ready for a problem? Uh, but so we're, all, we're there, we go to the zoo. Oh, and I'm hanging out with Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. Yeah, he totally doesn't look like that, though. That's why I didn't recognize him at first. And so we're at the zoo and we're on this private tour. So the zoo is open, but we're on like a little private thing. Like we are going on our journey. Like we're going behind the scenes and we get to play with like orangutan and like see them being fed and stuff like that. We learn this little intricate system of like, these orangutans over here, that's a good mama taking care of her baby. That one over there, bad mama. Like does not take care of her baby. We have to help her because that baby's gonna die if we don't help that baby. That mama needs to watch this mama. Like, all that kind of stuff. And we go and we play with them and they're in a cage. And we have to pet them through the cage because they're eight times stronger than men. So, we, I, I like my arms, I like my fingers. I want to use them for a long time, so I, I need them all. But you know, petting them under the cage, and the baby, the baby's like, wee, 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 swinging over. The baby's like this big, that big, long arms. And it's coming up and it's like, trying to grab at me. And then, uh, and so they take us to, now what they did was we went, we went orangutan, elephant, tortoise. <laughs> what it should have been is tortoise, orangutan, elephants. Elephants were the middle. So we, we, we go to this little area and the elephants are there and they're like, okay, well, you're going to feed them a treat. They really like bread. They love white bread. And so, I, I guess, because you know, white bread has like a lot of sugar in it. They like the sugar because if you think about their diet, it's like they're eating leaves and shit all day. I mean, they don't, you know, they don't really get like sugar and stuff. So like, they're like, oh my God, bread! <laughs> and so they open a gate and this like elephant that's probably as tall as this thing, just <laughs> and it walks over and this one's a little feisty. This one's are playing with it, but it's like, it doesn't really want to play with this. It's like, it's trunk is like, just give me the bread. And so I go up to it and I feed it. You can either put it in its little trunk and it puts it in its mouth, or you go right, I just put it right in its mouth. And it's like, tongue just like slimed my whole arm. And I was like, trunk next time. I'm gonna do the trunk. And so that baby started getting, that, that elephant started getting a little rascally. So it would start moving back and forth and we're like, ooh, let's go away. And so, they took that elephant, because it was getting feisty, they took the elephant, they tranked it, 
Uh, and then they have a guy that comes up and it immediately, while the meat is still fresh, slices it up. And then what they do is they have a big smoker that they have and they put the meat in there and they smoke the elephant meat. So by the time you finish the tour, you've got fresh elephant meat. That's how they do things. It was great. No, no, they just said, they just took him off to his area. And so then they bring out another elephant. And the other elephant is the oldest elephant in the Southern Hemisphere. And so this elephant was 57 years old. So it comes out, it's very sweet, so sweet. And it's a little trunk, I give it bread and it put, and then I get close and we're able to pet it and play with it. And it's like looking at you and it's like, hi, you're nice to me. You give me bread from the bread tree. And, you pet my trunk with your spider things on your little digit like, fingers. I imagine that you don't know what fingers are, so they're like, those look like little spider things that I see in trees and stuff, but they're white and they're not hairy and covered in anything. Like, you know, like spiders are gross and they are. Spiders are really nasty. And so we're walking around. If you said spiders are cool, I'm going to ignore that. And so we're walking around <laughs> the zoo, and then we see the, the tortoises, and I'm like, great. <laughs> like, it's cool, we get to pet it and touch its shell. And, but it's really cool because you make a fast move and it goes like right into its shell. It sucks right in there. And I always imagine that turtle shells are like inside, it's much bigger than they are on the outside. So like inside it's like a three bedroom house. And they've got like other turtles in there, they're partying and playing video games, Mario Kart 7 and stuff. But uh, Part 8, I got to play Part 8 in Australia. It is awesome. Have you played the demo for that? Oh man. It looks, it's awesome. You get like a little hovercraft now. You have hovercrafts that, that do things. And then I played the new Kirby and all that stuff. Kirby. And uh, level what's that? Illustration level silver? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's just because like they're, they're doing so many innovative things in it because it's like, wow, I never even, that's a really cool way to do that level. And so that's because your brain's just not trained for that. So then play the turtle and then as we're leaving, we see a big spider. That's just not a, an exhibit, but just out in the thing. Oh, and uh, but they they have. Uh, have you, you guys know what a hawk spider is? Those are spiders that hunt birds. <laughs> They're big, and they will f you up. <laughs> if you see one, it's the last thing you'll see. Um, and then there's there, I I looked up. I did research on these uh, Asian hornets. You guys heard about these things? They're, I mean, they're like the size, they're like as long as this pen. And they're huge. They're the only wasp hornity thing that actually attacks humans unprovoked. They seek them out to wreak havoc on your life and bring violence to you. Um, sounds like a bunch of jerks. Well, it sounds like we need to take a whole bunch of them and send them to the east of this city. They need to go to the east side. And just release the hornets. Now, I was told this. I was told that it's very dangerous over there. And what you do is you send over Asian hornets, clean up that part of the town, clean it right up. So that, that's all I've been hearing. That, that's, that's what they're telling me. Well, I know you're dangerous because we had to do a little metal detector and all that stuff on you because you've got adamantium in you. But. Um, <laughs> No, but that's all I've heard. I don't know. I don't live here, so it's fine. Yeah. Cause I said, can I go? Walk, can I go like outside and wandering around? And they go, don't do that. No, see, but see, you say it's safe, and then right here, he's like, it's not safe. It's not safe. Where are you gonna trust me? It's not safe. Right here, it's not safe. I live there. So they're right when they're telling me this. It's true. What, what happens over there? Are we talking like like marathon watchings of all the Twilight movies? Or what happens over there? What other movies? What's that? First 48. What's that mean? The, the, the TV show, First 48. Yeah, First 48. I don't watch TV. Oh, um... I do 30 cons a year. Robbery, I don't have time to watch TV. Robbery. Uh, robbery? Murder and all that. Crazy murder? murder. Charity. Does it ever happen all at once? Yes. 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 Uh, if you don't give them what they want. <laughs> it's, got, it's like Bloodhaven. It's blood if it's got them without Batman. So what happens? Do they so but but okay if it's that bad, are there just cops all the time over there? Doing? No. On their staff, so. I just got robbed last week. Where's no, Robocop? <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Like what what uh, so no no cops go over there or, you, or it's understaffed, you don't have a lot of cops. Don't sit around there is like this is so funny. Every single person is saying 
bad part of town. You're like, no, it's great. You should go. I live over there. So that's your Disneyland or <laughs> those are the only two options. Okay, we're gonna narrow this down. Has there been a shooting there yes. in the past yes. ten days? Yes. Not where I live. Where do you live? It depends on the part you live in, I guess. I live in the safe part, so I'll say it. Where's that? <laughs> Eight mile? Yeah. Is that safe? <laughs> no? I, I live off the seven. You live off of seven, seventh mile? Yeah, seventh. So there's miles. It's like eight miles, seven miles, six miles. Okay. Different, you know, different counties, different streets. Okay. So you, so you guys know this part of town, but you don't go there. Apparently, the only safe person is you that goes there. But, 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 but you don't, but you don't go over there. But you know about it. Is that the case? Yeah. So, you, but you know about it because it's of its infamy. But you. But, you just go through it. You just go through it. You don't stop. You don't stop. <laughs> it's that bad? Don't make eye contact. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I would love to do? I would love to do this if I had some, like, FU money. I would love to get an armored car with bulletproof windows and bulletproof tires and go drive a sweet car. Drive over there, park it. <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> And then when they come up to the window and they're like, tap, 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 I just go, uh-uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you like solder them in, like bolt them in to where they... <laughs> they're resourceful. <laughs> so, it's, so it's a town of Jawas. They just will come into... Okay. Disneyland doesn't. <laughs> Orlando does. Orlando is very dangerous, actually. I went over there. Orlando is very dangerous. Like the, we were setting up for. I, w I had just arrived for a convention, and the guy that was setting up all the AV had left his speakers outside for like five minutes of the hotel. No one's around. Nobody is around. And he goes inside. This is like midnight. No one's around. So we go inside to check into the hotel. And in that time frame, someone came and stole his speakers. Not like speakers. I'm talking like b bigger than the, like, you know, concert speakers. Out of nowhere. And then they say sometimes taxis come by, and they're, they're fake taxis, and they'll pick up people, tourists, take them out somewhere, take their money, leave them somewhere, and take them. In Orlando, old people live there. Are they the ones that do this? <laughs> Old people, like, they're retiring and they're training to take people down and stuff? Maybe those people need to come to the east side. I blame social security. So, so, well, there's no security in the east side, apparently. Um, so what, what's the solution? I mean, is the solution to just, like, get the Avengers to go through and just, like... The solution is... They would be like, screw this. I ain't going there now. My mind your business. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny about that is, is that there's there are cops, SWAT, and army. Like there's no like um, there's nothing in like a like a, a squadron that can go out and like that is that is funded and armed that can go through and like hey you know what this is not cool and we're gonna fix it but we're gonna fix it with these. <laughs> Huh? Neighborhood Watch. Neighborhood, <laughs> neighborhood Watch. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I've got my flashlight. 12 volts! Uh, that's what I'll do. I'll, dr I'll drive the car and paint it on the sides. Neighborhood Watch. <laughs> and I'll just park the car. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna do that. Okay, if, if I ever have... Oh, that's... I'm so gonna do that. If I ever... If I get, like, a, a gig that's, like... Here's $50 million. I'm going to take $1 million and devote it to antagonizing the East Side. Going in there to <laughs> get them all riled up. Yeah. No, I, no that's the thing. I'm going to have a million dollars and I'm going to have a squadron and, and a, a armored... See, they feed on that. They want you to think that. They're super thugs. It's, it's not 
every city. <laughs> No! No! I have been all over Texas and I've never seen a super thug. <laughs> San Antonio does have... San Antonio doesn't have super thugs. San Antonio has like people that are like, eh, I probably won't turn my back. Like, you think you got super thugs? Okay. Southside? Let's talk about cookies now. No, but you live in the great part of town. I mean, why would you want to talk about cookies? What's your favorite cookie? Chocolate chip. Woo! You know, it really is hard to beat a really good chocolate chip cookie. Now here's the thing I've always thought about cookies. On the bag, you like what? Rice ball better. Rice balls are cookies. Uh, okay. I was making fun of some. I was making fun of four kids. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, the cookies and rice ball thing. I just like making fun of kids. <laughs> the younger the better. <laughs> no, um, so the cookies on the bag, you know how it says it's like home-baked taste. Like, you know, it tastes just like it's homemade. Well, technically, those cookies, where they come from, the factory is their home because that's where they were born. Like, the cookies were created in a factory. So, it, every cookie is homemade. I don't know why they don't just say that. My favorite cookie, I like a lot. See, that's a problem. I like a lot of cookies. I like sugar cookies. Sugar cookies are good. You know, chocolate chip. But you can't beat a really, like, a really good chocolate chip cookie. It's hard to beat. There's a reason it's the superstar, it's the Tom Cruise of cookies. It's the most famous of the cookies. Now, one time, there was a mistake. I went to this restaurant, and there was a vile mistake. They were baking a tray of cookies, and they had a tray of chocolate chip cookies, and then a tray of peanut butter cookies, but unfortunately, one of the chocolate chip cookies had a peanut butter cookie on top of it, and they had been baked together. And, the, and I saw the woman was about to throw it away, and I go, don't. <laughs> Make me go east side on you. <laughs> I, go, I will buy that cookie from you. She's like, but it's, a defe it's defective. I'm going to throw it away. I'm like, no, you think it's that. I see treasure. Uh, I bought it, and it was one of the best decisions of 2013. Uh, it was a really good move. It was a really good move. Now, the worst cookies I've ever had, I'm trying to think of them. Uh, there are some good oatmeal cookies, though. There are some bad, there, there are bad chocolate chip cookies sometimes. Sometimes you get those cookies where you're like, you know, the, the pity cookie? Yeah. You, you know, yeah, you, that, you know what I'm talking about. You eat, some, you know, you can eat so many cookies and after a while you get a sixth sense about cookies and you can just look at a cookie and you know if it's going to be good or not. You can tell if it's going to be dry, you can tell if it's not, what's, you know, there's not a lot of chocolate chipage in it. You kind of look at a cookie and be like, you know, there's probably like three chips in it, maybe. I like, I take the recipe, I double the chocolate chips, always, and I add like dried cherries in mine, and it's really good. Now, if you don't like dried cherries, if that, that's more of an east side thing. <laughs> I like dried cherries. Um, it's really good. Now, outside of that dessert, so you've got cookies, cookies are good, you know, it's, cookies are like pizza, I mean, even if you have a bad pizza, you're still having pizza, and it's still pretty good. Um, so there's cookies, then there's, so now there's a camp of people that only like, that don't like cake. What? Does anybody in here? There's people that don't like cake. They live in the east side. Um, they don't like cake. Some people like pie, but they don't like cake, and vice versa. I like both. Me too. I don't like There's one person, and then there's some people that don't like the, the cake meat, they like the frosting, and vice versa. I like the frosting. They should make a cereal called Frosting, and it's just chunks of frosting with a little bit of like cake flakes, you know, like for bran flakes. That's okay, but it's gonna be a really good bowl of cereal. I had a bowl of cereal. You know that Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory that you see in the airports and stuff like that? They have a cereal called Rocky Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory cereal. It is really just chocolate pieces with some flakes. I bought it. And it's the most expensive box of cereal I've ever purchased, and it was so good. I dominated that box of cereal once again. Have you ever had snickerdoodles? Like, does anyone know? I just told you I double the recipes of my cookies. You think a man does that and has never had a snickerdoodle? Of course I've had a snickerdoodle. I've had every cookie, I've had every dessert, every dessert you could imagine, I've had. So cake batter ice cream? Yes. Hit me with one. I'll tell you if I've had it or not. <laughs> Big, bam. That wait, I've never, I've never heard of that. Superman ice cream. There's Superman ice cream. They have it in the south. They have 
here? Oh. What's in it? What? <laughs> what's in that tucky? Dough! Wait, what's in the Superman ice cream? Superman's in it. They take his hand and they grind it in a kryptonite grinder. They sprinkle it in the ice cream. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, what's in this Superman ice cream? Like chocolate? Is it marshmallowy stuff? Steel? You can't describe Superman ice cream, you have to eat it. Okay. You just can't describe it. It's like, hold on, what was that? It's like Superman ice cream with two other colors in it. They have it at the ice cream place in here. In here? Yeah. There's a little ice cream shop on the side. They have it, I think. Why didn't I know about this? <laughs> the light is a sale. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. I'm just gonna try. <laughs> would, would, you, would you eat that? <laughs> You've had that before? Yeah, that looks like, you know, a, a painter's like, palette. It looks like they taste great. That looks like that, that you're not supposed to eat that. <laughs> but you like that? Well, it's ice cream. You're Did not you have some today? You know, Did you want some today? I love it. <laughs> you, you're probably gonna get some tomorrow. Are you gonna eat a cup or a cup? You need a sugar cone or a waffle cone? <laughs> you like the waffle cone. Do you feel like you get more ice cream in the waffle cone than the cup? I think so. Okay. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Have you ever had Mackinac Island fudge? What? Oh my god. Mackinac what? I think I should specify. <laughs> Archetypes of desserts I've had. Like, when you start getting specific, have you had my grandma's special salmon ice cream? Because it's to die for. Uh, I've had fudge, and I've had ice cream, so I'm still batting 100. That's bad. Uh, so, what else? What other dessert? Which one? Oh, yeah. Maple, maple cookies, maple donuts from Tim Hortons, stuff like that. Maple Hortons. Oh, yeah. Blue Velvet. Oh yeah, Blue, Blue Velvet. They have it at a, at a um, bakery right down the street from me, right before you get to La Brea. It's a, a place called Milk, and it's really good. Milk? Milk is the name of the place, and they have these fantastic desserts. Yeah! And I'm telling you, I'm a dessert master. You know Van Damme is the master of martial arts? I am the master of things involving sugar. <laughs> That's a problem. That's not good. It is. It's good. But it's not good. But um, but yeah, no foods. Foods and I. Yeah, I I'm bad. And I feel. I'm not eating that Superman ice cream. I don't think. I don't think I like the look of it. You have to eat it. Oh my god. Does anyone here not like the flavor of Superman ice cream? Can I just have a bite of yours? Okay, I'm gonna try it once. But if I pass out and I wake up and it's Tuesday, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, uh, well, see, i got to record. i got to record. So, what, what shows, what, what anime titles are, are you guys looking forward to coming? Yes, ma'am? Not, or, sorry. Fairy Tale. More Fairy Tale? Yeah. Right on. Yes! Okay. I'm almost the Fairy Tale girl at school. You're the Fairy Tale girl at school? Yeah. Where do you go to school? Uh, Oakland University. What's your major? Oh, is it because you just have like a lot of things that you want to do, or you just like what are the top three things you're thinking of? Um, public relations, safety engineering, and those are the two. Oh, okay. Public relations or safety engineering. Safety engineering. So that means you. What do you do? <laughs> you check for hazard. You can usually you work for the government and yeah. you go do different businesses and you check for hazards or you can work independently and devise up safety plans for different businesses. Uh, okay. It's like, so they're like, okay, here's your building. You're, yeah, you're like, that's wrong, that's You bad, need a ramp bad. here for wheelchairs yeah. or something like that. Yeah, or else you slap a big fine on them. Oh, can, you, can you, you get the fine and it's really big, it's made out of concrete, you put some sriracha on it and you slap them in the face with it? Yeah. That would be my favorite part. Okay, so, so more fairy tale, 
That is definitely happening. What about you, Miss? We did 83 episodes out of 323. Okay, what other, let's see. What about, what other shows? So you guys saw more for Yes, sir. One Piece. Oh, One Piece? Okay, there's more of that. Yeah, uh-huh. Initial D, fifth stage. You know, there was talk about that. I wonder if that's actually happening. I also, they just announced that three new movies coming out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe, maybe. Yes, ma'am. I wish we had more Shane Shan. You know, we did a lot of that show. I think, I, I think we did a lot of that. And I think we just... You know. I don't know, three seasons? Um, that's not enough shit, Cam. That was pretty funny. That was a good show. What about over here? Are you guys looking forward to anything? Attack on Titan dub. Yes. I know, G. Grayman. Attack on Titan? The dub. I've, I've seen some of it. Sounds pretty cool. I can't say anything about that. Um, G. Grayman, you know what? Here's what I, I, I gotta ask you this question. So what I did was I was as, in Seattle and I was on a panel and every, every single convention I go to, I've done like over 120 conventions. Every convention I go to, they ask about D. Graveman. Every single one of them. And I'm right there with you because I love that show. I don't want any more. I just want to finish what there is. And I said at this panel, I said, maybe we should do a Kickstarter for it. Maybe so, because that's... That's probably the only way it's going to happen. Um, 